it's usually a bad connection inside the junction box. There's a lot of different things that solar installers use when terminating conductors on the roof. Terminal blocks on a DIN rail, you have wire nuts, and you have Wagos. Those are the three most common. There's other ways. There's other items out there that might even be better. Those three are the three that I see. And it's interesting because wire nuts, I see those fail all the time. But more often than wire nuts failing, I see terminal blocks failing. And the reason is installation error most of the time. When I inspect these and I see them burn up, it's obvious that there was arcing and there was issues. It's the sheathing on the conductor was trimmed back too far and it really wasn't just a clean, nice connection. They do say that if you have ones that aren't compression like this Wago, um, and they are screwed down that you actually need to tighten those for regular maintenance, which is interesting. It looks really good. It's, it's great for um, you know, testing, you have everything in a row labeled. You can test different conductors. It's really clean, but I see these fail all the time because they're installed wrong. This is how it's been done forever. It works. It just doesn't fail like a good pre-twist on solid conductors with a wire nut where I see issues. However, is when we're mixing stranded, stranded and solid, which like every single solar panel system, PV wire is stranded. Um, in phase Q cable is stranded. Um, other micro inverter cable is stranded. Everything is like stranded copper or aluminum for solar. And then a lot of times we're, we're going to solid, um, depending on what you're doing. Even if you're going from stranded to stranded, a lot of times what you're using on the roof is a lower gauge or a different type of metal. And it just doesn't seem to be a clean connection for just screwing on a wire nut. Way goes. I feel like the pre-twist with two solid conductors is better than, than a way go. I, I think it's a better connection. This it's a little bit squirrely, but when it comes to solid, when you're mixing solid and stranded, um, or different gauges of wire, um, I don't, I think this is definitely the way to go. I'm seeing more and more people using Wagos, uh, Vago or something like Wago. We're calling it Wago. I see more and more people using 221s. Um, they make a few different sizes. A lot of these will say that they're rated for like 300 volts or 450 volts. Wago does say they're rated for 600. Somebody might need to verify that. If you're doing a DIY solar project, you're installing this yourself or, or doing any electrical connections yourself, buy these. The 221s from Wago, I'll have a link below to my favorite wire nuts, terminal blocks, and Wagos uh, so that you can just buy them quick off Amazon and have some. It's better than just using something you don't wanna use, just order it and get it and do it right. But this connection right here is pretty hard to mess up. You just, you just strip it back, push the wire in. It's just common sense, wiring up a Wago. That's my two cents on that. I see a lot of failures of terminal blocks because they're installed wrong. I see a lot of failures with wire nuts because they're installed wrong. Wagos, I think, obviously this is just my experience. I haven't actually tested them to see what the pull strength is or what how much voltage you can put through them and overload them. From what I see, this is an inferior connection to a properly done wire nut, but there's more forgiveness. If you're looking at issues because of installation error and you eliminate improper install with an easier to install product, is it a better? product i think it is you the net result is probably that you'll have less failures 